Alright, what is up guys? It's me, Kirby Tech 48 and if you can't tell, I'm a little sick today. Um, actually, I actually uh, stayed home from school today because I'm really not feeling well. Um, but uh, I decided I needed to record an episode, so here we are. Um, today's episode, we are going to map out uh, the world here because if you remember in the town hall, there's a giant map wall and we need to fill that in. So that is our plan for today. And it'll be awesome. Also, you'll notice I'm still using the shaders and the Kirby texture pack. And no, this is not fixed. It is a little bit. Not really. <coughs> Ugh. So that is our goal today, guys. I'm sorry my voice sounds super gross. But we do need to map out this area. So let's start by mapping right here. Alright, we have our first map. Oh, that's cool. There's like a little see-through. Um, so we need to go down here, and this six by six map grid is really, really freaking huge. Um, even with these super zoomed-in maps, it actually covers a ton of land. Uh, so that's the goal today: is get these maps all ready to go for the map wall. I have 36 in my inventory, but we will have to make a few trips. All right, so we have that one. We're just gonna go up and down the sides here to make it nice and easy on us. Um, and then once our PvP village is done, we will go again and redo the maps so that we can get it updated. Um, you'll notice over on the sidebar, Darkening, Fire, and Cobalt have been on a ton. And so has Devo lately, actually, too. Um, yeah, so these are the people that have kind of been on quite a bit the last few days. Uh, you'll notice Wonder Waffles and MC Jackson haven't. They... They haven't been really doing much on the server lately. Um, and you'll notice the Epical is over there. I did re-whitelist 9 Rec 9 and the Epical because I realized it's kind of pointless. Hello. To have them not on the whitelist considering we were always chill with them, you know, hopping on anyway. So it was like, whatever, man. Let's just, let's add them again. So I did, and the Epical got on for a little bit. You can see there. Okay. We are going to go four up, or six up, and back down again. And we'll just keep doing that until we fill up our inventory, and then we will put them up on the map wall. So we're almost done with this side. Um, okay. I had a story to tell today. I don't remember it, though. I could talk about my first week of school. Oh, yeah, and see, no, we can see the... Uh, tree, I believe is what that is. Uh, maybe not. What is this? I've never seen this before. I guess I could tell you guys about my first disc. Oh! This must be uh, Colton and Jess's place. That must be what this is. Holy crap! They got this up quick. Oh, look at this. This is freaking awesome. I've never been down here, so now I know where they are. I can take screenshots for the wiki and stuff. Oh, there's a downstairs. Oh, oh my gosh. This is this is so cool. Look at this place. Oh, this is wicked. All right, we'll we'll come back later and explore it a little bit. We're, we're, we have our goal today, and we want to accomplish it. Okay, don't need you, don't need you. I would like to keep the gunpowder, but right now my main priority is the mapping, so we're going to do that. What is this little thing? Maybe they're mines? Yeah. Awesome, that's really cool. I've never seen that. Um, so, yeah, so I guess my first day of school was about three weeks ago now, which is probably absurd for most of you. I know even in Arizona here... Hello. Uh, even in Arizona here, that's actually pretty uncommon. Um, okay. And we can go over here now. Um, yeah, so we start a little earlier than everyone else because our schedule is on like a modified year-round, so that means we get like two and three week breaks in between. Um, quarters instead of just the one week or even a few days that some school breaks. Um, 
but we sacrifice a shorter summer for that. Um, but we're, you know, I, I think I like it personally. I like it better, so I'm okay with it. Um, but anyway, our first week of school started up, like I said, a few weeks ago. And if you guys don't know already, I am the uh, student body president of our school. I know, pretty spiffy, right? Um, anyway, so about a week before, the principal emails me, right? Because we're not in school, so I'm not like actually talking to the principal yet. And he goes, hey, I really, really need you to give a speech on the first day of school. Now I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, you know, whatever, I've given speeches before. But this was also on top of a bunch of other stuff I was already doing that day. Like I was taking a tour of new students around campus, uh, making sure they, you know, got comfortable, fit in, came up with games, you know, had to do a bunch of stuff for this. Holy! I swear, what can't Colton do? Um... So I was like, y yeah, sure, you know, I'm, I'm game, I guess. Um, so I did that. So I prepared my speech, and usually when I prepare my speeches, I expect it uh, to be 100% memorized, right? Or else, you know, it's a lame speech, and, you know, read, and then you're just reading off of something or, you know, whatnot. Um, but this time, it, hadn't, it, it didn't have it already because I was not as prepared for this one as others, and I don't know why. I just wasn't. So I bring a note card up, right? And I'm giving this speech, right? Uh, we're at the assembly, and Mr. Bickus is our pr is principal. Um, he he does his little spiel, right? Hey, welcome to ACP, you know, blah, 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 blah. And all of a sudden, he turns and hands the mic to me, like, right? You know, it's like, all right, you're up, Daryl. Let's, let's do this. He didn't say that, but that, that's what his face said. Um, so I... Nervously, you know, grab the mic. And I've given speeches before. I've had to talk in church, you know, in front of a few hundred people. And I've given speech to the school before. But this time, our school doesn't just... Oh, hey, we're back home. Look at that. Uh, our school doesn't fit on one side of our gym now. So we were taking up both sides of the gym. Which is pretty normal at other high schools. But not for our high school. Um, so I'm... Right? So I start giving my speech. And I can't just give it in one direction. I have to, like... Is that my arm... Armor's a little glitchy, whatever. Um, so I have to. Know, let's go down the bridge. Um, I have to keep turning in my speech. I should say, like I can't, I can't just focus one way and look at you know, one one group of students. I have to keep turning around and around and around, which doesn't sound horrible, but it, it is because then you get lost real easily. So I'm reading through my note card, right? Uh, I just had like a few little lines on there like, hey, you know, this, the the points I needed to make. So that I wouldn't forget them. And, you know, I'm, I'm almost at the bottom of the card. Speech is almost done. I'm feeling great. <clears throat> and I look back at the card and I had skipped a part, right? And normally you're like, oh, well, you know, just just keep going. But I didn't. I uh, I froze, right? And that's never that's never good. So I'm standing there in the middle of the assembly. Everyone is looking at me, and I just I freeze. And according to my siblings, who also go to the same school, holy frick, that's a big moon. No, that's the sun. Just kidding. That's the moon. I'm an idiot. Um, you know, and according to them, I say, "Oh, geez," in the microphone. I didn't know. I didn't know this, mind you. They they just said that. I don't. I don't even remember saying that. So now the whole school is staring at me, and I just said, oh, geez, into the microphone, and I'm just standing there. So I quickly I quickly recover, right? And it's not the best, but it, it works. Okay, it works. It's all that matters right now. So I do that. My speech is over, right? And I'm feeling pretty crappy. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I messed that up. Why are the maps not... Why are they doing this? Shaders, probably. Um, always blame the shaders. Okay, hop, and hop. Okay, there we go. And so I finished my speech, right? And then you get all the teachers that are like, oh, good job, you know, good job, Kirby, you did it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah thanks, you know. I, I tried, I'm, I'm really good at this, obviously. Okay, where'd that map go? Come back. Okay, maybe it's this one. Yeah, there we go, okay. Um, so that was basically it. I know, my stories are great, aren't they? Okay, so here we go. We have a portion of our map wall. 
done and so you can see our little arena is going to cover on these three as well and you can see the pig pen and the cow farm and then that building we'll go on to the next one let's turn off shaders real quick why is it doing that okay if any of you know why this is happening where I can like see the edges of the map let me know because I've never seen that before is uh, smooth lighting on no, that didn't help. That didn't help. <coughs> so yeah, that was basically that story. I know, I'm, I'm a great storyteller. Um, okay, so what do we need to do now? We need to go... Okay. It's really dark outside. Let's go sleep first. Um, I downloaded a bunch of extra texture packs too, so that I could do this awesomeness. And I, I still think the Seuss ones are the better, best. The acid shaders, though, those are freaky. Um, so yeah, that was basically that story. I know, great gripping, right? Um, I had, a, I had a train of thought going, but then I lost it. So I'm going to kill these guys real quick. The fire is really bright with these shaders on. Okay. Right on. I'm, my brother's supposed to be here. Blueberry's supposed to be here any minute. He just, he just went. He just got. He went home from school because he's sick as well. Um, Alright, so we need to finish mapping out the rest of the area. So let's go do that, shall we? <coughs> What else? I don't have any other stories. I'm, I'm pretty lame. I don't do much. Um, oh, colleges. So Monday, we have our first meeting with the, uh, like, official meeting with the college and career specialists at our school because I'm a senior in high school, as you guys know. Um, and so I have to start, like, worrying about college and stuff. Uh, it's kind of scary. Um, that and coupled with an LDS mission uh, are pretty terrifying, truthfully. Um, because... Um, missions you can either go when you're 18 right out of high school or you can go when you are 19 which is right out of college uh, or like you do a year of college and then you go on your mission which sounds pretty bad um, but when you're 18 and you just go out in literally anywhere in the world and are you know having to live on your or live with one other dude and you know that's it um, you have to kind of know how to manage yourself which I don't think I'll I don't think a lot of 18 year olds know how to do um, but there's a really big push to go out when you're 18. And for me, that's pretty scary because um, scholarships and stuff. As you guys know, I live with divorced parents, and one parent makes decent money. Uh, they're fine. And then the other one does not make a ton of money. Um, in fact, where it's at the point, so I can, uh, if I get accepted into, like, Yale or Stanford, which would be insane, um, I actually don't have to pay tuition because my uh, parents' income is below that line. Um... So, you know, it's, it's scary. I don't know where I'm going to apply to, what to do. Um, I'm slowly leaning towards some type of engineering. Civil engineering sounds the most fun, uh, but they don't make super great money compared to the other engineers. And you have, you know, just as much work, which is fine. Um, but it's, you know, a little bit annoying. Then there is genetic engineering, which would be pretty freaking awesome, truthfully. Um, I was reading that uh, in South Korea they made uh, glow-in-the-dark cats through genetic engineering, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need that in my life. So that's a possibility as well. Um, and then there's mechanical engineering and electrical engineering and chemical engineering. Like, there's so many different types of engineering, but I definitely want to be an engineer at this point in uh, the college major's decision. I just can't decide which one because there's so many. Um, oh, with that said... Uh, speaking of college, uh, if you guys don't know, Drum, Candlelight Bob, Cobalt, and Darkening Fire were seniors last year. So they are all graduated, and they are all getting ready for college. Uh, Steve-O, Candlelight Bob, is going to ASU, uh, and so is Drum. So maybe they'll meet up 
That'd be pretty cool. They meet each other in real life. And Cobalt is going to NAU. Uh, for those of you that don't live in Arizona, that's Northern Arizona University. It's not as big as ASU or U of A, but it's, it's still a pretty good school. And then I have no idea where Darkening Fire is going to school. She hasn't really... Like I said, she wasn't on the server for a really long time, and then all of a sudden she's back again, so... Uh, don't really. I know she's not going to NAU because when I brought that up to Col Cobalt, I said, "Hey, you know, congrats on getting into NAU." Who's like, "Thanks," and she was really sad, I guess, because they're not going to the same college. Oh no. Uh, anyway. Uh, okay, so we need to turn now, this way. Um, so that's kind of scary. Um, things I'm lo places I'm looking at. Number one, uh, like the Dream School would be uh, MIT for sure. MIT would be absolutely insane to go to um, and then also a possibility is going to be BYU because I'm Mormon and it costs five thousand dollars tuition per year which is pretty freaking cheap for college here uh, MIT's tuition is about forty eight thousand and Yale is about forty two thousand like college is not cheap um, so BYU is always an option uh, U of A for Arizona. If I had to stay in state, I'd go to U of A. Um, but other schools I'm looking at, Stanford would be um, insane, and Yale would be pretty great too. Uh, possibly Harvard, but I'm not sure how their engineering programs are. I know they're really good and famous for their law and business school, but that is not something that interests me. Law, business interests me, not law. Um, jeez, oh, Luis Stevos Castle looks freaking awesome, even on a map. Um. But on Monday we're having our first like, you know, meeting about, hey, this is the common application, and you need to, uh, you know, get your teacher recommendations in, and uh, start really looking into scholarships and stuff. Because up until this year, they just kind of say, you know, the goal of junior, freshman through junior, is just get good grades and do a lot of stuff, which I've done. Um, Stugo president helps a lot, as does. Um, oh, and that is why we don't carry a map around, as. Uh, do uh, the fact that I'm in plays, I know, uh, um, I told you guys this before, but I act in uh, school plays and musicals, and um, apparently that helps actually quite a bit, because not a lot of kids get that background experience, and so that's something that shows, you know, hey, I'm willing to put myself out there, uh, and willing to do kind of stupid stuff every so often. So that's pretty great. Oh, that looks sick. That looks really cool. Um... And then track for two years, that helps. I wasn't very great at it, but the fact that I was on varsity track for two years because my school is so small definitely helps. Um, and then there's math club, and I did robotics club for a year, and nightmare club, and I play, you know, I play piano outside of school, which you guys probably know. Uh, oh, I could talk about that too. Um, so there, there's a lot of things going for me, basically, is what the counselor said. So I'm super excited. I think I have some good chances of getting into some good schools. But I will keep you guys updated as to what I'm doing. Because if I go on a mission right after high school, that would mean two years dropped, no more Kirby content. Um, I would put out a last goodbye video, and that would be that. I really have to pee. I'll, okay, I'm gonna, just going to do this real quick. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm really sick, so I'm trying to drink as much water as I can. I drank eight liters yesterday, um, and then I've only I've only had two today. But the goal is eight uh, for Americans that don't know what liters are. Liters. Uh, eight liters is a little more than two gallons of water. Um, anyway, as I was saying, um, what was I saying? Colleges. Colleges. Um, so I'll, I'll keep you posted. Uh, oh, mission. If I leave on a mission, that would be uh, two years of no more Kirby content, and I honestly don't know what would happen with uh, Bacon Crafty, because I know if I leave, um, the rest of the guys might get on and play, um, but I'm the guy that plans all the UHCs and keeps the server vanilla, um, and the server just would take a different direction. Um, a very, very different direction. I doubt they would uh, keep their vanilla survival world ever. Um, so I would probably transfer the server itself over to JDog, but kindly ask that uh, Bacon Craftia die off, uh, which ca sounds kind of selfish, truthfully. I would say, you know, do what you want to do, um, 
do what you want to do with this server, but please don't call it Bacon Crafty because Bacon Crafty had, you know, one goal, and that was to be a fun vanilla server where people could get on and hang out and just be generally chill people. Okay, get rid of those. Um, which wouldn't happen, truthfully. Um, it might. I don't know. J Dog. I don't. J Dog's only what, thirteen, twelve. He no. He he's turning thirteen in a few days. Um, so I don't honestly know how well he how good he would be at running a server. Um, like I don't know how he'd plan UHCs and stuff, and if he'd uh, be very good at it. Truthfully, um, great PVP or great player, but I don't know about server manager. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what would happen there. Uh, we'd kind of figure that out. And even if I do my mission after a year of college, you know, the year of college would probably see less videos uh, from me, but it'd still be there. And then the mission would no videos for two years, straight up. Um, oh, it gets really dark at night with the shaders. Okay, we gotta turn shaders off. I wasn't thinking about that for UHC. <coughs> Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this with UHC just because the shaders at night are so dark. Um, I don't know, maybe. I think it might be even more fun, though, if I do it with shaders, so I probably will. Um, so I'm, I'm figuring that out slowly. Um, and currently, I'm still doing a lot of stuff on the interwebs uh, right now, like this YouTube channel, for example. I have no plans on uh, cleaning it off and, you know, ending it. Uh, if I do go on my mission, when I come back, I might, uh, if I, yeah, if I do leave at 18, I might rebrand the channel, might go away from uh, Kirby ATK48, because that is the name I gave myself when I was 12 years old. Um, the horse race track. So I might uh, change it up, rebrand my channel. Um, but that would, that would suck. Um, I also run Civilization 5 AI games over on the Civ AI games subreddit if you guys don't know that uh, feel free to uh, there's a link on my YouTube page that is the Bacon Crafty subreddit and from there you can find my reddit account and you can kind of follow what I do over on uh, reddit which is a lot <laughs> um, so the, the biggest yeah the biggest nervous thing for me in college and mission is truthfully um, leaving all of this behind. Like, I would have to completely restart when I get home. Um, all the work I've put in in the past, you know, what, two, more than two years, and by the end of the school year, more than three years. Um, and that, that's really scary. Oh, that looks sick. Um, like, that really scares me. Um, and if you guys don't know, I'm a very, like, I, I say I'm the president and I do plays and stuff, but that this is that's all recent um, back in seventh grade I didn't talk to anyone at my school uh, for half a year I sat alone at lunch uh, people scared me I don't do well meeting new people and so um, you know it's uh, college admission are really scary for me because uh, in high school oh, frick went the wrong way. I was supposed to go my, oh, more that way. Alright, well, I guess we'll get rid of that one and we'll go back and we'll have to make another map. Um, the people I have come to love in high school are some of the... I mean, they are insane. They've helped me so much. Um, there's only 53 or 4 of us in my senior class at my school, so it's a really small grade. Um, and I don't know all of them super well, but there's a few. I'd say 5 to 10 that I... I'm really, really scared about leaving. Um, <laughs> I'm so scared. Um, because they, they're the, I don't, I don't do well meeting new people. Unless they have, uh, like, a common thing. So, like, ACP kids, new 7th graders over at ACP, I'm totally chill with meeting. I, you know, I love meeting the new kids, getting them to, you know, help them around campus and stuff. Um, if I ever met up with, um, some of you guys subscribers which would be really weird but you know it's possible um, I'd be super super chill um, but for example like I go to two of my classes are not at my high school they're at a different high school um, 
which is a whole other story. Um, but one of those classes is seminary, so it's whatever. But the other class is an AP stats class, and I don't talk to anyone in that class. I just kind of sit and do my work, and um, because new people really, really scare me. Um, so for college, that that is my biggest um, worry in college is leaving behind the kids in high school. And everybody says that. I know it's like, oh no, you have to make new friends. But making like meeting new people is really, really easy for some people. And for me, it it's just not. I don't I don't open myself up to anybody. Um, there are very few people that know more about me than I. Um, you know, I'm the student body president, and I do stuff with my life. Like most of my school doesn't even know about this channel. Um, I don't tell anyone, and the people I do tell are very, very close to me. Um, okay, let's go put these up, and then we'll go uh, finish mapping. Uh, so that really scares me. I don't... Oh, I mean, it'll be fine in the end, I know that, but like... I don't know, I'm just... I'm worried. Um, yeah. um, so college is upcoming, and... You know, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. I'm just gonna have to go for it. I'm gonna have to let it kick my butt a little bit. Uh, that's not right. There we go. Uh, that doesn't look right either. Does it? Yes, it does. Okay. Um. So I guess we will hurdle that when we get there. Come on. There we go. And you can see the cute little spawn town. I mean, when I destroy the village, I'll make sure to take all the maps out. Um, so I can... Um, that's not right either. What goes down here? That's definitely not right. Did I do these out of order? Oh, yeah, yeah, Because when I would go up there... 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 Okay. Dang it! it! No, that's not right either. So that's definitely not what I wanted to happen there. Jeez, oh, Louise. Okay, and this is what I was really worried about. Okay, there we go. Found that one. That does not go there. That one goes right there. And that one goes right there. Ha ha! Okay. Nope. 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 Come on, I did it again. Um, okay, that goes there. And that goes up there. <coughs> and last one. Nope. 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 Where did the other map go? Ah, ah, there it is. Okay. And there we go. Nope. Nope. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Okay, there we go. Alright, we're almost done. We just have a little bit more to go. But, like, look how awesome that looks, guys. Um, we just have this last little side to do. So we need to go make another map because I screwed up a little bit. Um, actually, we should probably bring this one along so that we can tell where we are starting. Um... Okay, happier note. Let's let's go. Um, UHC is this Saturday, August eighth. I'm super stoked. Um, currently, we have eight confirmed can show up. That one. Um, and we're hoping for anywhere up to eighteen. Eighteen would be everyone on the server plus our three guests. Um, so that probably won't happen. But needless, regardless, that's the word. Um. Do that. We need our paper. There we go. Make the compass first. Wow, that was great, Kirby. Um, whoosh. Okay, there we go. We have our empty maps. Okay, don't need any of that. Don't need that. Okay, cool. Um, anyway, uh, so are you actually this weekend? So we have three guests. Um, possibly four if Jack uh, Swarm Thirty Three decides to show up again. Um, but our guests this season are, I'm going to tell you right now because you don't know who they are yet, um, number one, 
His name is Lomonstar or Lomonster, depending on his account. Uh, he does Twitch streaming. His name's Terrence, and he's 17 and from Georgia. So we're super excited to have him. Um, and then the other two uh, is a guy I found through a subreddit, a very small subreddit. Um, his name is Rush Rage Games, so I highly recommend going and checking him out. Um, his channel's pretty great. And his friend, uh, Ethan Thorson, who I don't think will be recording. I don't know if Lomonstar will either. I know he, like I said, he does the Twitch stuff. But I don't know if he'll, um, you know, be recording because he has a YouTube channel, so he can't record. Uh, but he doesn't ever use it. Um. So yeah, those are our three guests. Possibly Swarm Thirty Three if Jack decides he wants to show up. And then we have me, J Dog, and Blueberry confirmed, as well as the Epical. Um, and who was who else was the last one? Uh, I think ostrich buns, but I'm not really sure. I don't. Th I think Ginger Ninja said he couldn't do it this time again, which sucks because he's really cool. But um, and I don't know about Drum Nads, Cobalt, Darkening Fire. I don't know if they can or not. I hope they can. Um, and I don't think Wonder Waffles will be joining us again. Uh, for that, for this UHC, I mean, he's still on the server and whatnot. Uh, he has a birthday party to go to, though. Uh, and Ninja Chef probably won't, uh, as you guys know, she doesn't really do much Minecraft. Um, yeah, because she's done two UHCs, UHC two and UHC nine, and UHC. I don't UHCs like one through three kind of don't count in my opinion. Okay, we need to go back a little bit, um, just because they were so derpy, and because there was, you know, two people in the first one and four in the second one and five in the third one but then we got to four and that's when it really started taking off um, so our goal is honestly just to beat the uh, ten people we had in UHC 11 which is the most we've ever had um, and I'm also, I've also uh, added command blocks thanks to Motbot he has a YouTube channel I'll probably link it to the description if I remember um, who has commands to drop player heads upon death, uh, and he modified uh, Izuma Void's code. Uh, Izuma Void's, you had to have uh, everyone on the same team for it to work. So now we can drop heads if you know we're not on the same team, which is excellent thanks to Modbot. Okay, let's jump. <coughs> um, so people will drop their heads when they die now, which is super cool, and I'm super excited. Um, but we're still, we'll decide what we're, like, team-wise what we're doing when we get there, uh, as we always do. Uh, I'm hoping for 12, because if we have 12, we could do 14 to 3. Or even if we had 15, we could do 5 of 3. Um, but that, those are options, and then teams of 2 as always, and then random teams of 2 are always an option. Uh, we haven't done a free-for-all. I realized this the other day. We haven't done a free-for-all since UHC 6. And I really miss those because I'm really good at the free-for-all ones. But the uh, not free-for-all ones, I am not at all. Um, I I have yet to win a team one other than UHC 4, I guess. Um, J-Dog currently has the most wins. He's won 5 UHCs, a little jerk. He's he is really good. Uh, J-Dog, me, and Blueberry are the three technically best PvPers. Um, but we've also done the most two HCs, so you got to count that into there, too. Um, but I'm super excited. Uh, the last option is always um, what the Minecrackers just did in one of their seasons, which I really, really liked, was everyone starts solo. So, you know, you, you spawn in your own location all alone, but then the first person you find uh, is your teammate. And so you can win with a team. Uh, we would only do that if we had, like, 11 or more, I guess, uh, because if you only have, like, 10 people and you try and do that, it's not going to work out very well, because the arena is so big, so you probably won't have a lot of teams forming, which is the whole point of it, you know? Um, I'm, I would love that one, and I really want to do a season with the Mumble plugin, like the Minecrackers did, where, uh, you know, if I'm talking this way and J-Dog's off in the distance here, but close enough, he can hear my voice getting louder and louder as I approach him, um, that would be really cool, but the problem uh, with that is um, I'm the only one that records to YouTube on the server, and since nobody else is recording, they have no need to talk, so they could all just be silent the whole game and be totally fine. 
Whereas, uh, if I was silent the whole game, that would make some pretty freaking crappy commentary, so I would not do that. Uh, get off me, little jerk. Um, so that is <coughs> technically a possibility, uh, but realistically it's not, uh, just because nobody else records. Uh, so those are kind of the games we're looking at, and if we somehow got 16, we could do 4 of 4, which would be pretty awesome. Um, so we'll figure it out when we get there. I'm super excited for these guests to join us. Um, and if you guys watching, because I know that nobody watches my videos, so if you're watching, that means that you're like a hardcore Kirby fan, and I applaud you. Um, but you also, um, if you want to do the UHC, let me know. This video will probably be posted today, the day I'm recording it, so Saturday. It's doable. Um, but the conditions are you would have to have a Skype so that you can talk to people. And um, I prefer that you have a YouTube channel or a Twitch page so I can go check you out and make sure you're not the demon child of everything. I don't. I, th I think that's a little glitchy there. Um, maybe if I turn off... Okay. Huh, that's a weird that's a weird little thing that happened there. Um But that way oh jeez, look how dark it gets with these on. I can barely see anywhere in front of me. Doing a UHC with this on would be a pain in the butt. And this is all the way up. This is bright part and this is a bright too. Uh, so if you wanted to do UHC, let me know. You have to have a uh, Skype and a YouTube preferably so you can record and or I can check you out because uh we need clean language. It's a must to do this because we have little kids. Straight up. Um Alright, so let's go put these maps up and we'll be done for today. Man, that was a long episode. Jeez Louise. I didn't realize how long mapping takes. Um and look at this, this is really cool. You you hold the torch and it lights up around you. Um little jerk. Okay. There's a zombie here, it's gonna hurt me. Grex scrub. Grex scrub. Oh, he dropped an iron for me. Oh, thank you. Okay. So let's go put these maps up. Let's eat some steak first. Okay. Cool, we are almost done. Man, that was a really long recording session. My throat. It's gonna be horrible for the UHC in two days. Um, I have to go take senior pictures today too, which I really don't want to do since I'm feeling like trash. Uh, okay. Right, six, seven. So that one goes up there. And that one goes there. 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 And that one goes there. And that one goes there. That one goes there. And that one goes there. And that one goes there. Awesome! Check that out. Oh, that is so... <laughs> that is sick. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, well, I mean, let's see. You can see, here's the arena. Here's the Randall wall. Right there. Here's the arena block, you can see. Um, we have the stables. We have Cold Land Dakota's base. Whatever that is. I don't know what that is. I should probably check that out. Steve's tree. Stables. Blueberries. Old house. Farms. Randall's little hut. We have the boat. We have my base. Man, that looks really cool. Uh, the horse race track, and then we have Steve's castles, and then up in the very corner we have Ninja Chef's stuff. Uh, so I guess I really didn't need this side, um, but I did want to go all the way up so I could see Ninja Chef's base. So six by six. <laughs> oh yeah, and these are all the banners of the people on the server. I moved them over, I think, one of the episodes. So I just need to get a few banners left, <laughs> and then this will be complete. I like the TBD to be determined. Um, so, oh, I guess I could put uh, Randall and Carl up now, huh? Yeah, I need to do that. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. This has been an episode of Bacon Crafty with Kirby Attack 48, and I will see you guys next episode.